Hey guys, it's Brandon with Obsessed RC. I have something that I'm super excited about. Um, Horizon Hobby owns Arma. Arma just updated all their electronics in their V5 line. Um, not just their V5 line, but the Infraction V2, the Felony. Um, I know the Creighton 8S had this, but just let me talk to you about it a little bit. I'm super, super stoked about it. It is the Firma Smart 150 amp brushless ESC. The thing is a work of art. Um, on the right, I have the old BLX 185, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever because it's still 150 amp. So the new one, why I'm so excited about it, just let me talk to you about a couple of the things. Um, first of all, it can do telemetry. Um, like in the field, real time telemetry, not just data logging, um, smart all-in-one telemetry because it has a fast, powerful 32-bit ARM M4 processor. It has its own processor. This one didn't have any way to connect it to your computer or anything like that. If you wanted to program it, hold the buttons, you have like three or four different options. Um, all the options on this one, just some main points, still waterproof, multiple options for easy programming. The button programming like I said with this one, and then it's got a smart ESC programming box. Not only that, but it's got smart link USB updating and programmer application, just like Castle Link or anything like that. Multi point protection has the overcurrent protection, something that this one had some issues with. Um, overcurrent protection, automatic lipo, low voltage cutoff, thermal protection, fail safe protection. Developed by Spectrum Engineers in partnership with the industry-leading ESC mat manufacturer. Um, I don't know who that is, but Spectrum is badass. So, uh, ready to install, no soldering required, rugged plastic case with mounting tabs. The case looks like a work of art. It's amazing. You can see it right there. Um, let's see. Ready to install, rugged plastic case. Aluminum heat sink with high efficiency. I think the heat sink's the same one. I think the cooling fan's the same one. It's got an adjustable high power BEC, which is cool. The firmware is updatable through the smart ESC programming box. That is something that you have to buy extra, but it's really cool. Uh, I've only seen a couple clips of it, but it's something that you can plug into it and program it right there in the field. Um, firmware updatable through the programming box, high heat resistant IC connectors, backwards compatible with EC connectors, um, IC5, EC5, uh, limited one year warranty, which is different. I thought it was two. Maybe if you purchase it with an Arma vehicle, it's two. Maybe it's new. Like every component in the Spectrum Smart Ecosystem Firma, Smart ESCs combine plug and play simplicity with the ability to communicate with other smart electronics. Together, creating the best performing RC systems for your vehicles imaginable. I really believe that. Firma Smart ESCs do much more than regulate power. They function like a virtual engineer inside your model, providing a direct path to the vital operating data that you need to read to that you need to reach to peak performance. Huh, tongue twister. Firma Smart ESCs give you an extra layer of confidence that your electronics are operating at their best. Um, this is the important part. With Firma Smart ESCs, you'll be better connected to your vehicle than ever before. Without installing extra components that all work independently with each other. You won't need extra wires, modules, or links. A Firma Electronic Speed Control provides one wire solution for obtaining telemetry such as RPM, temperature, battery voltage, and capacity. So if you've got the smart batteries, it will tell your remote, it'll have a little battery meter on there and it'll tell you empty to full. Um, you'll be, Firma ESCs are not only gather data, but also send it to your transmitter in real time. That's what I was talking about. Instead of only storing it after run study, you are able to adjust settings as needed to boost performance on the go. The Irma single wire telemetry solution has been tested for quality and performance by the best brands in RC. The Verdict smart technology is both simpler and superior. I 
really, really, really think this is cool. I'll stop reading now. Um, you've been here for five minutes. I'm just going over the points of it, the technical stuff. Now I'm going to open it and compare them. Um, when I first got this in the mail, I was stoked. I knew I was getting it when I ordered it, but like these are the same specs, 150 amp, 150 amp, but arm up, got getting spacing this out and putting this in all their new vehicles. The reason I was so stoked is check this out. Look at it. The first time I saw it was in a Creighton 8S. I've never seen one in person. That one was a lot bigger, but look at this. It's like a freaking work of art. It's got a couple scuffs on it because I did install it. Right now, I don't have anything to put it into. I want to get a Limitless or a Mojave uh, EXB. Maybe a Creighton EXB, but I have the Talion, so I really don't know. Uh, but look at this. It is freaking sweet. Um, like I said, the fan and the heat sink, I think, is the same. The thing that I really liked is this little jumper. You could put LED lighting. You could put not have to plug into your receiver and plug anything into there. Um, uh, motor fan, anything. I think that's really cool. Another cool thing is I think the problem between these and this, okay, there's the three capacitors, right? No. Four, five, six, seven. Seven capacitors. That's why I think these are going to outshine. I like the color scheme. And look at the buttons. Look at this. No flip power on. Just hold the button. Now, I do not know how to program these. I have not went over it yet, so I'm not even going to start to tell you how. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Um, I'll show you what else is in the box. L look how thick this is. Listen to that. You know, when they drop the car in slow-mo. It's like an old school flip book. This thing is jam-packed. I mean, it's huge. I think the old one they gave you is super tiny. Um, let's see. 3 to 6S. Um, here. Here we go about the button programming. Right here. And now look at all the things that you can do. Now, the other one, I think, had four different things you could program. This one's got running mode, drag, break, force, low voltage cutoff, start mode, level, um, max break force, max reverse force, initial break force, neutral range, timing degree, motor rotation, and lipo cells. That's 11 different categories that you can program this with. So, I mean, it's got pretty much anything you would need to know in here. Also, look at this. It's got the mounting holes on it, so they're going a step above, giving you the extra protection to put your ESC in there. I know when you go on some big jumps, it's really hard on your electronics when it slams. So, it looks like this is decently thick and padded. Even one for the button. I think that is slick. 3M BHB. I've never heard of that. Then we got not one, but two different sets of stickers. That's pretty sweet. Um, then on the back of the box, let's see what they got. Let's put all this stuff back. Keep it nice. Like I said, I have nothing to put it in yet, but I will. Specification 150 amp, peak current 950 amp, sensorless brushless, 3 to 6 S, BEC 6 volt 5 amp, EC, IC. This thing is sweet, Horizon Hobby. I stand behind them 100%. They have an amazing warranty. If anything ever breaks, you just contact them and they will send you out their replacement. It's amazing. Like, this hobby is, we break a lot of stuff and a lot of things break. I have had amazing experiences with Horizon Hobby. I love talking to them. Oh, what am I doing? Let me show you these side by side. Now, let me get to the old one. The old, wait, one? Wait, you mean the old three that I've had? Actually, four. I've went through four of them because I took one of them apart and uh, took the fan out of it and used it for something else. But just let me show you real quick, side by side, how these look. They're the same size, but which one would you rather look at? 
that thing's slick looking. Um, I think the motor wires are a little bit longer on this one. But look at this jumper on there. The thing is nice. And then just the button system. That looks so cool. It just stands out. And the orange, the battery cables are a little longer. I just love it. I mean, these are still the uh, the IC5s, but or the EC5s, excuse me, Spectrum. But this thing is awesome. And the problem that I think that these ones had, look, there's only three different capacitors versus three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the problem I've had on these... One of them I had kill three different, uh, I think the BEC got unstable and it killed three different receivers that I had. But when I went to turn it on, I had a 6S battery in there and it was beeping 10 times. Beep, 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 counting off 10 times. So I knew I should have taken, I shouldn't have even put it in my car when it was messing up, but it let the smoke out. This one let the smoke out. Um... And then this is the one that actually killed my receivers and I had another one, but I cut that one up and used it for parts. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video. I was really excited about this ESC. I wanted to show you the differences between the old ones. I really think that, uh, that data logging and the, the real time telemetry and all that stuff is sweet. Just the visual differences alone I'm super excited about. But like I said, these extra capacitors, I don't think I'm going to go through one of these. And if I did, like I said, Horizon Hobby is amazing. You contact them, send them your message. Here's the telemetry system right here, the one wire. Send them a message. They've got a new updated system with their uh, since COVID. They get right back to you. I even had a set of wheels that I had a problem with. I didn't know that they will warranty wheels. I sent them a picture, or sent them a picture, sent them my receipt, and as soon as they get back in stock, they're sending them out. But anyways, you guys take it easy. Just wanted to share my new thing. Um, like I said, if you're gonna get a limitless or you're gonna get something that doesn't have electronics and you have a choice, get this. Spend the extra 50 bucks. If you buy the V5s, they're all going to have this in there. I think they're phasing these out completely. I really don't know. But anyways, Brandon with Obsessed RC. Thanks, guys.